Okay, in order to solve this question, we have to talk about protein synthesis. If this is your cell, okay, everything inside the cell is going to be called intracellular, and everything outside of the cell is going to be called the extracellular. Okay, here you're going to have the nucleus of your cell. Inside of the nucleus of your cell, you're going to have your double stranded DNA. Okay, and it contains many genes. Many genes. And each gene has instructions to produce a specific protein. Okay, the problem of DNA is that it can't go out of the nucleus. Okay, and remember that in order to produce a protein, it has to reach ribosomes. Okay, let's suppose the Golgi apparatus is around here. It is not like this, it is more like this. Okay, so in order to develop the protein synthesis, first, the gene of the DNA has to undergo the process of transcription, where there is production of a single stranded mRNA. The advantage of this mRNA is that it, it is able to move out of the nucleus and get to the cytosol, okay? Once there, the mRNA for this gene is going to get into the ribosomes, okay, into the ribosomes, and the ribosome is going to read the instructions for the mRNA, and it is going to synthesize a specific protein. This is going to, this is going to be the protein, and the process that... In this process, uh, that consists in producing the protein from the mRNA is, is, called, is called translation. After this, um, this protein, or well, this protein synthesis, like from here, has two pathways, two possible pathways, okay? And depending on the protein that is going to be formed. <clears throat> For example, if this is a protein, the first option, a protein that is going to be used for the cytosol or for the cell, for the cell function, then it is going to it is going to be produced in free ribosomes in in the in the cytoplasm, and it is going to remain the protein. The target is going to be in the cytosol. It means it means inside the cell. Okay, it is not going to be secreted out of the cell. And what happens? In the second option, well, it is called that secre secreting pathway, okay? And it um, this process does not occur in the free ribosomes, but it, it occurs in the go endoplasmic reticulum that is around here, okay? It is called go because it contains many ribosomes in its surface that gives like a GOF appearance, okay? So um, once the ribosome binds, to the, uh, the mRNA binds to the ribosome, it is going to be dragged here, and the protein is going to be produced here inside of the uh, GOF endoplasmic reticulum. Many, many changes are going to occur here, and then it is going to be taken into the Golgi apparatus. Okay, and it is going to undergo many other modifications. It is going to be, it is going to, to get inside vesicles, and it is going to be released out of the cell. Okay, so this is, these are the two pathways that protein synthesis uh, can take. The secretory pathway, or just like this pathway that produces proteins uh, that are going to remain in the, in the cell. So. The question says, what happens to the proteins that are synthesized on free ribosomes, it means here in the cytoplasm, do they go through the Golgi apparatus? We know that they don't go through the Golgi apparatus. So option A says, these proteins move through the Golgi apparatus, this is false. Okay, option A is false. Option B says, these proteins go through the Golgi apparatus, this is false too. Option C says, the proteins don't go through the Golgi apparatus, so it is correct that to there, and move into the nucleus for processing. This is false. They don't come back to the nucleus. They can't get into the nucleus. Option D says the proteins don't go through the Golgi apparatus. Okay, they remain free in the free ribosomes and remain free in the cytosol. This is true. So this is the answer. Option D is the answer.